recording, uh, recording of uh, open entry. So we want to make an example, an illustration to, to both friends uh, on how we can use a uh, general journal. You know, we talk about the use of general journal. So the illustration number one says correction of error through journal. So it's also part of use of journal. We use journal to correct errors. So we want to cite an example that uh, goes in with that. And the example says, sales of goods, 700 to my poster to Nike account. So, you know, sales of goods, which is a 700 naira, you can see here that we have journal, we have a debit side and credit side. So the account that the sales of goods that are supposed to post to uh, Mike was mistakenly posted to the account of Nike. So, in order that we want to adjust to correct that error, to post the account into my account while we take it out from Nikkei's account. Now, as you can see, we wrote here the year, Mike, which is a debit site, we have a 700 Naira. So, Mike has to be debited because uh, when we say sale of good to Mike, Mike, it is the mic. You know, when we are still following our double entry principle that uh, it is the mic that is supposed to, when you receive, that means the account will be debited. So, mistakenly put to Nikkei. So, to, to correct this, this error, then we debit our uh, mic account and credit uh, Nikkei. That means Nikkei, we have to return that our uh, money back to my account. We will take an example, we use the uh, ledgers in order to after we have that been corrected in the on, in the journal we are still going to uh, prepare a ledger for it so the ledger goes this is a uh, the error is a nickel and you wrote Mike and then uh, you wrote Mike here yeah. Now I told you this is a ledger. So this is a real error occur. It is it's supposed to be my account and it was voted to Nikkei's account. I'm coming. So here we will now we will now use a journal to correct these errors of which we we have done in the question. They will now transfer it to ledger showing that uh, the error has been corrected. So then we now what we now do is that we after it has been debited, we now write Mike, because Mike is the one that is receiving that goods, then Nikkei has to return the money back, which is a 700. So we now write Nikkei, which is a 700. You know, uh, according to double entry principles, it says any money that you receive has to be debited. And uh, any money that goes out has to be credited. So we are complying with the double entry principles here. So Nikkei, Nikkei has to return the money back to Mike. So now, this is a Nikkei's account because Nikkei has to return that money that was mistakenly posted into a account. So this is a, this is a, so after we must have prepared you now, you know. Accounting as a process. The process we are talking about uh, from subsidiary book to the ledger and from the ledger to the trial balance. So as small as ledger is, as small as ledger is, it fits into any book and that is where you extract your trial uh, balance. Token one is for recording opening entries. We have given asset which is land and building 500. We have our furniture 600, motor van 950. Plant and machinery 1735, cash, banks, debt, and we also have our liability, which is a, a payable loans and credit. So, how do we prepare? How do we post these items into journal? Don't forget the format of our journal, which is a, this journal. Then, remember, we have a debit and what and credit so this is the format and that is what we are going to that is where we are going to record those uh, 
items or transaction. Now, we take it one after the other. On that set, we have land and building. We have, is it going to, is it the debit side or the credit side? Now, we have under assets, we have land and building. Now, in this, we are, should we credit the land and building or should we credit the, the land and building? There is a few I would like to, to give you on how to balance your journal when this kind of question is given. And the clues is asset, all asset must be debited, while all liability has to be credited. Now, any income or revenue must be credited, any loss or expenses has to be debited. These are the clues. Well, these are the techniques in balancing your journal. Now, let's learn apply the te techniques in the doing justice with, with our journal. Under land and uh, building, land and building is an asset, so it has to be debited, and it is a uh, five five thousand. Then we have uh, likewise we have. Furniture and fittings. Now, furniture that visit is also under an asset. So that is a 6,000 error. Then, likewise, we have a motor van. Motor van is a 950. We have plans. All, all these are under a is an asset, a yeah, Honda asset, so we have to debit that which is a 175. Then we have a cash, cash is also an asset, that is a 800. Then we have a bank, bank is 220. Then we have a, we have debtor which is a 5. 50. So on the liability side, remember, all liability will be credited. So in, in applying this technique, it will assist you and also aid you in balancing your journal to know where those accounts, which side they belong to, either credit side or debit side. Then on that we have a bill payable. Be payable, we have 4,500. We have loan. Loan is also a liability to complain, which is a 1,5. Then the last one is a creditor. Creditor is also a liability. So it's 3,050. So that is a by doing this, we are fulfilling what uh, we call double entry using a uh, journal. And that's why we use it for record uh, opening entry. So then you can also prepare ledger for this account. Exactly the way it is being prepared here. Let me cite a short example. After you must have prepared, then you can transfer them to their ledger. I told you that anything that I prepare must also have uh, the ledger where it is extracted for. So let me give you just uh, some little example. Now, we have land and building. Account. You know, according to the point of view, it, it has to be debited. So, you just write cash which is a 500 Naira. Then, let me take motor van. So, because it is from this ledger, you transfer it to 
to the journal. That is the reason why ledger is very important in an account. Any account must be the extracted from what from the uh, ledger. So now we have a motor van account, which is a type of the de uh, debited, which is a cash nine fifty. Then let me use the examples of liability. We have a big payable. Don't forget credit side and debit side, then cash. That is the you can use 450 or depending on so that is the sorry four five. So that is the, the way you can put those uh, items into the journal. And the, that is the, that is why journal uh, journal is very important. You know, we have different types of journal, but Anything that has to do with general journal can fit into any account. So you can use anything, you can post any items, be it a cash transaction, cash trade, credit and any other thing in, in recording it. Now, we'll, we'll be talking about a type of journal. What are the type of journal? We have a general journal, and uh, you know, a general journal, like we said, it is a way you record transaction. It is recording of all type of they record all type of business transaction in a sequential and systematic order. That means you take it one after the other, like the uh, illustration we take the other time. That you know we take it one after the other. That asset under asset we have land and building, we have motor van, we treat them into the journal. So general journal can fit into any. Any, record, any business transaction, but the second one is special journal. From the, from the note, from the name, you can denote that special journal, it is used for special account. It is not, in any account cannot just be posted in.